Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how to set up a Windows Mixed Reality headset. First, remove it from the box. Read the instructions if you want. Find the batteries and put them in the controllers. The rechargeable AA batteries are good to use here, and they have to be at least 1.5 volts. Find the cable and attach it to the headset, if it's not attached already. It only goes in one way, so be careful. And now we are ready to plug it into the PC. On the back or side of your computer, plug in the DisplayPort or HDMI plug in your graphics card. For desktops, be sure to connect it to the graphics card and not the integrated graphics. Open the Mixed Reality Portal if it hasn't already. Make sure that your Windows install is up to date, else it won't let you move on with the setup. On the top left side of the window, click on the third button from top and press Setup Room Boundary. You will have two choices. A room scale setup is recommended if you want to move around in your room in VR. Pick this if you're playing games like Pavlov or VRChat. A seated setup is recommended if you only intend on playing games that require little or no movement, like sim racing games or standard seated experiences. For this, I'll pick room scale setup. Make sure your space is clear of any obstacles that might get in your way. Pick up your headset and point it straight at your computer like this and press center. Now, pick up your headset and trace your room boundaries with the headset. Make sure your headset's always pointing at your computer while you do this. Once you're done and you're good with what you traced out, press accept. If you want to redo the room tracing, press start over. And that's mostly it. Follow the tutorial it puts you in to after you wear your headset, and you'll be set for any VR game you have on the Microsoft Store. Remember to turn on your controllers by pressing and holding the Windows button on your controller until the lights come on. You can press and hold this button again to turn your controller off. Enjoy your VR headset. Also, don't leave yet, please. In some cases, your floor height may be too high or too low. To fix this, press the Windows button on your controller and press the floor height adjust button. A little circular thing will appear in front of you, point your controller at it, and pull the trigger. For this, I like to put my controller on the floor and adjust it like this. Press the top or bottom part of the trackpad to adjust your floor height. One more thing, I strongly recommend you use Steam VR instead of the Microsoft Store for your VR games. You'll have to download and install the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR app and download Steam VR to be able to access Steam VR. After you do that, simply launch Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR and Steam VR will start right up. At this point, you can now launch any of your Steam VR games and play them right now. One last thing I forgot to mention, you can turn on a flashlight of sorts to see your environment around you. Just press or double press the Windows button and the grip button of your controller to turn it on. Now you're ready to take on Beat Saber and the hellhole of a game that's called VR Chat. Happy gaming!